Und damit hallo und herzlich willkommen zum Spiel The Complex. Ja, dieses Spiel ist mal komplett anders als die meisten Spiele. Ähm, bei Medal of Honor, da haben wir das schon so ein bisschen kennengelernt, da konnten wir durch das Spiel normal durchspielen, haben immer wieder Entscheidungen treffen müssen in den Cutscenes. Das hier ist im Endeffekt ein kompletter Film, der zusammengeschnitten worden ist mit verschiedenen Entscheidungen, die man treffen kann und natürlich auch entsprechend mit verschiedenen Enden. Ich habe absolut keine Ahnung, was auf mich zukommt, außer halt die Tatsache, dass man Entscheidungen treffen muss. Und ja, ich bin gespannt und ich dachte mir, gerade zur Zeiten der Corona-Krise oder der Corona-Hysterie aktuell, wo wir sowieso alle zu Hause sitzen müssen, dann können wir uns doch mal in etwa die nächsten 90 Minuten einen schönen Film reinziehen, der ähm, ja sehr spannend ist, so wie ich gehört habe und wo ich halt viele Entscheidungen treffen muss. Ich sage jetzt schon mal direkt, dass ich nicht viel reden werde, aber ähm, die Entscheidungen, die muss ich natürlich selber treffen und ich hoffe, ich treffe die richtigen Entscheidungen. Wir hören uns dann am Ende des Films nochmal. Oder des Spiels. <lacht> Viel Spaß! Okay, so I've done a uh, full body cleanses on both of them. Space is sterile. Did you get blood samples for Kensington's research project? Mm-hmm. Nice work, Dr. Wakefield. <laughs> so another drone? Yeah, they dropped nerve agent on their apartment block. A woman was coming home from the shops. The boy was playing with a soccer ball. What, you mean uh, a football? Hi. I'm Amy. You're... Talo. Pleasure to meet you, Talo. Are you gonna hurt me? I'm Team Doctor. You got injured, but I'll have you back playing football very soon. Reese, I need to administer atropine. Yeah, I, I didn't get a chance to restart the vials. Supply tent now! It's okay. Tell him, it's okay. Atropine injections worked on everyone I treated in Syria. Okay? Okay. You're alright. You're alright. What's your name? Nima. We're not safe here. The Supreme Leader ordered this attack. We're here to help you. He's trying to kill us. Both of us will stand against him. Oh. Tell me. Will this chemical ruin my life? Tata. We're treating you early, so you've got a great chance of survival. I listen to liars every day. You are not a good one. Please breathe. Look at me. Breathe. Look at me. I need... I need to save my baby. The supply tent's been depleted. There's only one vial left. What are you gonna do? 
make a decision. Dima, give me your arm. <laughs> Dima, please. You have to trust me. Okay, this will save you and your baby. No, you are with the Supreme Leader. You want to kill my baby? No! Reese, how do I save them? Reese? We stand on the precipice of history. I'm Dr. Amy Tennant, and I'm here on behalf of the visionary Natalie Kensington to inform you how your investments have made that possible. Firstly, we've been using your billions for the greater good. The Kensington Corporation's relationship with Kindar has flourished since the resolution of its civil war. Our teams have been working on development projects with some of the country's top scientists. Natalie has even developed an internship program for some of the country's brightest young minds. In fact, some of our Kindarian interns are here with us today. Oh, <laughs> Is Kindar still a totalitarian state? Human rights violations and all that shit? Kindar is at peace, but your concern is understandable. May I continue my presentation? I'm just saying, it's bad PR for us to associate with Kensington if she's dealing with a dictator. Well, as you've seen, that's simply not the case. Why is there so much research happening out there? It's a fucking waste of our money and resources. Kindar is a former British colony, and we're all here trying to help it recover. Seems like good philanthropic PR to me. And it's a tax haven. Good one. Now, the real reason you're here. The Kensington Complex. Our impenetrable HQ of laboratories built bespoke to Natalie's specifications by the world-renowned Parker Kaplani. Deep within the complex is Security Lab Alpha, a womb of scientific advancement. There, we have something remarkable in development. I'm sure all of your news feeds have told you that Gordon Grosvenor's expedition to Mars is becoming a reality. Yes, the first person to set foot on Mars will be British if we can hurdle this final obstacle together. Hey. Hey. Are you okay? <sighs> yeah, rough night. Don't do drugs, Kay. We can't fit a hospital on a 10-ton Mars lander. How do we get around this? Nanocells. Stem cells interwoven with nanotech. Once inside a host, they migrate to the site of injury. There, they regrow bone and generate extra blood to help catalyze the healing process. Tiny magic bullets. <laughs> What's your problem? <sighs> this is, of course, just a mock-up. The real nanocells are still in development and securely back at the complex, but once they're ready, we can begin regulated human trials. Having treated victims of chemical attacks all over the world, I know that 
nanocells could be miracle tech. <laughs> some serious concerns about this. Likewise, before my employer invests any more capital, she wants some answers. Amy, I really can't wait. We need to get you to the car now. No. Yes, absolutely. What are your questions? What's the catch of this miracle tech? You've made it in a lab, so is it radioactive or what? What about privacy laws? Are they trackable? Don't worry, we're talking about genetic reprogramming here, so nothing artificial or unnatural would ever go into our consumers' bodies. Amy, please, we need you now. It's an emergency. I have to go, but please stay and enjoy the wonderful hospitality. Let's go, Emily. We need to get you on the scene immediately. The scene? What happened? It's already gone viral. I'm ruling out food poisoning. She has other alarming symptoms, we've been told. Naturally, everyone's crying terrorism. A suicide bomber with a malfunctioning bioweapon? We need to get her to the complex. Okay, why is this our problem? Because she's one of our interns. Thank God you're here. This is beyond our remit. Oh. Excellent quarantine work. I'll examine her back at the complex. Yeah, we were waiting on your word before moving her. Uh, a single person drone or ground ambulance. The drone will get her there faster. But it's more dangerous. If it crashes then, oh no, whatever's inside her, it gets out into the public. It won't crash, it's Kensington Tech. Use the drone, Amy. Drunk. Don't fuck it up. So, what else do we know about her? Nothing yet. Let's get back to the complex. Buddies of a renegade. Well, the prospect of losing a friend in a strange country. I can empathise with that. Today we need all your field experience, Amy. Time to roll back the ears. Mm -hmm. You can say that again. You've got to be kidding me. Nah. It's been a while, Dr. Wakefield. You got here fast. Well, there weren't any blood vomiting ladies on my tube line. Reese Wakefield. Hug. Let's walk and talk. So, which legend fed the media the anthrax rumour? I need to take this. Was it her? So, do we have a name yet? Claire Mahek, she's one of us. Inside job. Now, she must be acting alone. Why else would she take the tube? Well, Uber doesn't offer a getaway car service yet, so... Look, if we consider the hysteria, it might actually be valid. But terrorism? I highly doubt it. Perceptive as ever. Hey, Amy, look. I promise... I didn't know you still worked here. If I did, I would have... Stayed away? Yeah, I'm sure. <sighs> Look. Why are you skydiving? Or bungee jumping? Or whatever it is that you were up to? 
because I'm passing through London. I checked my Twitter feed this morning, so something I could help with. Plus, Kensington wants my expertise again. Well, she already has my expertise. I'm not disputing that, nor am I apologising for the skydiving. Guy's got to live. And then if you could come back and let me know your decisions. Okay, thank you. You didn't want to run this by me? Two lifesavers are better than one. Reese Wakefield is a deserter. I know he's let us down in the past, but people change. Emily did due diligence too. Come on. Hey, uh, guys, can I just, uh, have five minutes? Just, uh, just need to use the gents. Can we go, please? Now I'm going to use the toilet as well. There are toilets down there. Amy! Gender fluid toilets, new policy. From your assistants down in security lab, Alpha. You should see the other guy. Security lab, Alpha. Nan, is this my tech? Yes. I mean, nothing leaves or enters the lab without us knowing about it. Emily and I will get to the bottom of that. You just get the nanocells, otherwise our life's work's gone. All of the nanocells are inside of her? It, it was the master batch. No duplicates were made. Good luck. Oh my god, you guys are serious about your fashion. Yeah, no more frumpy hazmat suits. Pressure suits? You'll see. All right. Better change in facilities than in the Congo, eh? Yeah. And Kinder. Going into space. Vacuum conditions active. Something like that. Echo! This vacuum acts as the last line of defense to prevent microbes from escaping the lab. The lack of air makes it sterile as hell. Well, that's great on a microscopic level, but it could do with some physical. Barriers. How long have you worked here again? Four years last Wednesday. Yeah, 
It's been that long. Just thinking about some of the stuff we saw. I saw a whole other year's worth after you left. It wasn't just skydiving. I needed a reset. Try new things. Learn anything that could help us today? Hope not. So the meditation's new. So is the spying. Touché. Vacuum conditions inactive. Dr. Thomas Malkin, Dr. Everly North. This is Dr. Reese Wakefield. He'll be assisting us today. Cool pony cell. Let me take you to her. <sighs> Feels like we're at the center of those dolls that go inside each other. Matryoshka dolls. Yeah. Russian, aren't they? <laughs> so what's your story then, Malkin? I've wanted to assist Dr. Tennant since I saw a talk at the plane summit about the extracellular matrix and lattice in stem cells. Yeah. Holy shit, it's attacking the bone structure. We've never seen anything like it. I have a sample of her blood under the microscope. Guys, this is my tech. The nanocells are inside her. But they're unfinished. There's no off switch, so they're just coursing through her body, producing excess bone and blood. But how could she have contracted them? From a spillage, maybe. They barely survive for two minutes once they're exposed to air, and she didn't have the authorization to access them. Someone's put them in her. <laughs> No, 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 leave it in, Claire. You need it. Oh, it feels fucking weird. You a terrorist? It'd be a terrible one if I was. I did this for Mina. What's Mina? A terrorist organization. Please oh, stop that, please. Look, how many times have we seen a lone wolf release pathogens into the air? Nanosols spreading... aren't airborne. They can only be transferred via blood to blood contact. Answer call. Named as Claire Mahek, a Kendarian intern at Kensington. TV off. Tell me you can retrieve our nanocells. Not directly. We'd need to extract a large blood sample to keep them active. From there, I'll use that as a roadmap to recreate the master batch. Seems simple enough. She has plenty of blood to spare. Not exactly. Her new bone matter is consuming her body's resources at an accelerated rate. If I remove that much blood in one go, she'll die. And if she dies before you extract her blood? Without a... Dr. Wakefield, please replace her IV. I can't risk any outside contamination. Sure thing. Dr. Tennant. Need to replace this, okay? Don't bite me.
Whoa! <laughs> Shit, sorry. It's a little rusty. I mean. And don't. Don't go anywhere. Who delivered this crate? Oh, it was here when we arrived this morning. Well, it's in the way. It needs to be moved. Don't worry about that. That's what we're here for. Thank you, Dr. North. Dr. Oh, Help me! It's no I knew there was something off about Malkin. What kind of a scientist has a fucking ponytail? Duck! <sighs> oh, thank you. You're fine. Oh, oh, oh. Is Claire all right? I'm currently the safest person in this room. <laughs> Good enough for me. Why are we in lockdown mode? It's detecting the poison from the acid bomb. It won't be in the air for much longer. Thanks for that. Call Natalie Kensington. <phone rings> Emily, where's Natalie? There's been an incident in the lab. Yeah, I can see that, and the biosecurity's kicked in. I need Natalie on the line right now. I don't care who she's with. Yeah, okay, she's in her office. I'll call you right back. And call. <phone rings> First things first, let's get this cleaned up. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. We'll be back in a minute, Claire. Don't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? No for stay kit. Well, that needs to come out one way or another. Kensington could have at least left us some of our expensive whiskey. Mm -hmm. Ah! This is going to stink. Ah! What the fuck? Ah! Oh! 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 Cold. Oh! Mm. Mm. I have to clean this wound. No, it's like it'll be fine. We've got bigger fish to fry. Halt dein Bein unter Wasser. Ich I'll clean it properly when we get up here. Hey, whatever happened to that kid that joined us in Myanmar? 
You know, he had a massive crush on you. Paul. Percy Paul. <laughs> How long did he stay after I left? What? No. Just leave it. Ooh, Paul didn't leave it. How long? Still? No, no. Not anymore. So you ended it? He did? Oh, sweet Jesus. Ooh. Look, not only did Paul lose someone way out of his league, but she's also very resourceful. It was a relationship that ran its course. We were both important parts of each other's lives and nothing will ever change that. So much chill way to look at it. Mm -hmm. Well, I've always grown up really fast. What the hell is that? It must be coming from beyond the walls. Is there any security cameras we can check? On the computer, but I don't know how my assistants did that. All right, would you mind? Thank you. <sighs> right, got it. These are the security cameras in the void. Cavalry? In masks? What's the rumbling though? Sound doesn't travel in a vacuum. Shit, they've deactivated the vacuum. No prizes for guessing who the brains of this operation is. God bless no security walls, eh? This is impossible. They would need unprecedented access to our security systems to be doing this. They're her dumb cavalry. Look, they're Kandarian too. I knew you were part of something bigger. Lump us all together because they have the same features. Big eyes and big lips too. The divisions in my country are complex. Those bunch are not from my team. And now they're fucking with us. Answer call. Amy, what's going on down there? You've been infiltrated, Kensington. Dr. Malkin was a plant. Thanks to him, Dr. North is dead, and so are my dreams of becoming a professional footballer. But you killed Malkin. Yeah, how do you know that? Emily checked security footage from the lab. I mean, does privacy even exist around here? There are three <laughs> mass intruders in the void, and they're armed. They've deactivated the vacuum and bypassed the security wall. I'm still alive. Make sure she knows that. By security is still enabled, so you are safe no matter what. Well, unless they open the door with that magic laptop. I'll get on to this intruder situation. Oh, well, not that I'm not grateful, but why is lockdown mode still active? The poison from the acid bomb has dissipated and the bioprotector is containing Claire's infection. It must be detecting something else. The safety of London is paramount. We can't risk a bug getting into the city. Amy, you need to extract Claire's blood, especially if the intruders have come for her. The nanocells cannot fall into the wrong hands. Well, there's uh, an easy way to prevent that. We smoke Claire. No! End call. Wow. Still can't keep your cool under pressure. She's responsible for this. That makes no sense. We're her only hope at retrieving the nanocells. Yeah, she's going to let us extract the nanocells and then kill us by gunfire. Wow. Bleak much? All right, look, Parker Kaplani designed this lab, right? Do you think he built an escape route, a back door, anything? I don't know. We'd have to ask him ourselves. Yoo-hoo! What now, Claire? Can you move the dead people? Now that she mentions it. Yeah.
Okay. How about this one? Enough with the Natalie theories. Remember those new skills I was telling you about? Well, advanced computing is one of them. Programming, coding. Hacking. I prefer the term unsolicited browsing. Yeah, no, sorry. Hacking is better. Look, I know you two are besties, but I find that a bit... Yeah. Let's access her camera. Give it a little listen. This is how scientists get killed, you know. Where did you learn to do this? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. You ready? Wait, we shouldn't... Look, if she's got nothing to hide, what's the issue? We're in this together. We need to cooperate if we're going to survive. Go ahead. The three intruders in the void have managed to lock every lift and door giving us access down there. Whatever they've done is caused electrical blips throughout the entire building. There are questions. Have the security idiots announced an upgrade gone awry? No one can think this clear situation is any more serious than it already is. This seems planned, Natalie. There must be more traitors in our midst. Emily, please! Two people are trapped in that lab with our prize asset. They are our priority. Announce a security upgrade. I clear the eyeways in case she calls. Who could the traders be working for? Let's ask the original. Claire. Amy. What do you and your friends want? I'm not an espionage mastermind. They aren't with me. So how did all the nanocells end up inside you? Is it not totally obvious? You should listen to Professor Xavier over there. About what? Kensington. So she put them in you? <laughs> no. <laughs> not me. <laughs> Have you been at the complex? A year. We've always had passing conversations on higher floors, but I don't think you remember. I always wanted to work in this lab with you. Well, here we are. Claire, come on. Just tell me what's happening so that I can help you. Got them all. Mina. Who's Mina? Claire. She's about as useful as a chocolate teapot. Ready for more cryptic bullshit? Answer call. Guys, you were right about the intruders. They've sabotaged your system and have electronically barricaded themselves in the void. Yeah. Tell us something we don't know, please. How are they bypassing our security system so easily? Kensington Corporation's dark plummets amidst TV links off. Rescue plans are being made. Well, have you contacted Parker Kaplani? He designed the lab. He'll know how to get us out of here. We've been trying, but he could be anywhere on the planet right now. Parker has no compunctions about who he builds labs for, as long as he pays, quote, Excuse me. Emily, wait. Please. Give us something. Help us. Dr. Malkin, the three intruders in the void, Claire, they all infiltrated the complex expertly. What, an another country in the space race, or...? Possibly. Well, they might be trying to steal the nanocells, or destroy them. 
I'm going to move heaven and earth to try and get hold of Parker. Thank you, Emily. End call. Whatever they're doing up there, we need to come up with some ideas of our own. Is there anything else you can do in the computer system? I can hack the communication lines, get in touch with Parker Kaplan and myself. Okay, awesome. You do that. I'm going to look for a way out of here. <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah. I think the air is getting stale down here. No, that's impossible. Even in lockdown mode, there's always a steady supply of oxygen. Lost something? Welcome back, Sleeping Beauty. I need something to get me past that vent cover. I always wished I was taller. Hey, mate, do you need a hand? Yeah. See, even with one leg, Wakefield is the MVP. Most vanishing person? Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. That was no. harsh. No, 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 I'm proud you've grown some whip. Come on. Continues behind the oxygen tank. Can you squeeze past that? Only one way to find out. Quite cute, marching wounds. I mean, mine is, mine is slightly more impressive. Mine put both of yours to shame. I hate her. <laughs> so 
So, anything else of note up there? Just a storeroom full of broken glass and... What's this deal? There's only one wall left between them and the lab door. Please tell me you got a hold of Parker. Negative. Uh, I got a hold of the CCTV footage from the past 24 hours. Okay. Sift through it, see if there's anything helpful. Roger that. Fucking sneaky bastard. Wait, Claire got access to the lab? Is that your master batch? How did she get that level of clearance on her ID card? Wait, what were you, you injected yourself? Why didn't the lab shut down? The nanocells need time to diffuse in the bloodstream. I was able to get out of the complex before feeling the effects. What the fuck is she doing in the storeroom? I destroyed all the duplicate nanocells too. What? I didn't authorize any duplicates to be made. So you were just stealing the master batch for employers to replicate? Who? Who was it? Was it the Russians? No, I was heading to MI6. To Oh, fucking impeccable timing as always. Am I six? Why were you taking them there, Claire? And to go! Parker. We got a hold of Parker. Half true. I was already en route. I get alerted every time shit hits the fan in one of my labs. We also have the identities of the three intruders. Sending them through. These guys? They're from last year's batch of Kendarian interns. Sleepers, like Malkin. Yeah, 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 guys, 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 there's one security wall between them and us. What have you got? What are our best options, Parker? I need ten more minutes to study these blueprints. That lab was built to contain world-altering alchemy. So excuse me if back doors won't part my thinking. Amy. End call. Reese. What? Do you want to listen to a fucking bullshit about nanocells again? We've got ten minutes to think without all that shit. Look, I didn't want to hand this over. It's not meant for you, but fuck it. You need to see the truth about Kensington and Kinder. What is it? Just watch. Careful, Amy. Always. Two files, Kensington and Picnic. Which one do you want to watch? If this gets over, we'll be answering. 
to the UN. Kensington Ma. What's the problem? We quashed uprising villages. And you got human trials to assess your technology. To burn one stone. The three whole villages. Your scientists need not know how the data was acquired. The supreme leader is a man of discretion. We trust you are the same. Most certainly. Make sure of it. Or we will. Um, I think my mind's thinking the same thing as yours, so do you really want to watch the other video? Go ahead. Please. Sure? <laughs> look, look. Okay. You've forgotten the wine but remembered your phone. Typical. <sighs> Mina's mad at me these days. <laughs> well, I'm sorry I forgot the wine, okay? Yeah. Bro, onion bhajis, egg mayo, <laughs> tomatoes. <laughs> Claire takes too many selfies in London. <laughs> Not that much. <laughs> no, look, I'm showing the surroundings. Look, look. Look how pretty this grass is. Come on, let's take a picture. Look at the camera. You see, the Kandarian government and Natalie Kensington experimented with your nano cells on my people, my village, my parents, my sister Mina. They're all killed for opposing the dictatorship. Natalie was making duplicates of the master badge behind my back. My tech killed people. And you were taking all the evidence for my six. In that USB and in your veins. Now the Supreme Leader has activated a sleeper cell in the complex to cover his tracks. Yeah, not to mention Natalie's. Why didn't you tell us this before? I didn't trust you. <clears throat> Reject call. Amy, you need to take a minute and think about this, okay? I'm fine, I promise. Hey, look. I know a rush decision when I see one. Are you not going to expose Natalie? After what you've just seen? We need to deal with our current predicament. Plus, I... Do you believe this isn't the weirdest place I've taken a ship? Do you need me to stay and help you? Ye no, no, you're fine, you're spared. I'll be sitting outside. Thank you, okay. Hey, if we get out of here, will you quit like you said? Pass. I never thought I'd have to answer that question. Oh, you do the right thing, you always do. A habit I wish I had. Well, I might have rubbed off on you if you'd stuck around. Why'd you leave, Reese? The absurdity. Not knowing whether... Saving someone was the right thing to do if it condemned them to a life of pain. It's too much for me. The coward isn't the man for you anyway. That wasn't your call to make. We were a team. Hindsight's a bitch, eh? Heard of Mr. Cracking Fortnite in Eritrea. Where can I sign up for this war tour and world tour you guys were on?
Enough with the wisecracks, Claire. I'm not in the mood. I know how you feel, Amy. You lost people that you love. My feelings are trivial compared to yours. The sense of betrayal, I mean. Come on, give us a break. I meant Natalie. It was a dream come true, getting an internship here. A village girl from Kindar, coming to London, to work, to live, to love. Funny story. <laughs> On my first day here, I was super late because I thought there was a station in the complex. Turns out I was looking at the tourist tube map with disused and unfinished stations. Yeah, that's right, the um, half-built station under the complex. Tabitha Greens. We're so far underground, we must be right on top of it. Yeah. Yeah, you might be right, Claire. Thank you. Anytime. What did I say? We can't go across the void. We tried going up into the vent, but we haven't tried going down. To Tabitha Greens. You need an access point. We might have one. Reese is sitting on it. <laughs> What do you have to know? I need something that will remove the entire toilet quickly. You're gonna have to get your hands dirty. Not necessarily. We're at the lowest point of the complex, so Tabitha Greens must be right below us. Yeah, okay, Amy, but there's a toilet in the way. Not for long. Potassium. Amy. My favorite ever chemistry lesson was when the teacher put a small piece of potassium in water. I always wanted to see what a full block would do. Oh, you are positively insane. <laughs> so now the big question, how far below us is Tabitha Greens? Looks deep. I'll go check it out. Use his ponytail, he'd be at the bottom by now. Oh, whoa! Oh my God. Ah. 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 Shit. That's my technique with etwas Großen. Their bullets won't dent these doors. They were built to withstand much more than that. The Void's last resort defense mechanism is the kicker. When it detects a rogue pathogen, it generates a white heat flash to eliminate the threat. <coughs> She's already hardwired into the system. We are fucking fucked. Answer call. Guys, the intruders are almost in, and we know why they're here. Parker, what options have we got? Enough! 
While Parker was accessing the lab security mainframe for bypasses, we saw records of who gained entry in the last 24 hours. Claire entered using someone else's ID credentials. Yours, Amy. That's impossible. I've got my ID card right here. Amy didn't help me. I snuck into her office and I copied her credentials off a computer. You're the liar, Natalie. You don't have a voice here, Claire. But we know about Kinder. Reese. We have proof. Lots. Nonsense. Look, the intruders are Natalie and Kindar's way of making sure that we die with their dirty little secret. We know that you hack your own security, Natalie. That's ridiculous. Yeah, your cyber security sucks. Even Reese hacked it easily. Reese has been hacking the system. He isn't an employee here, is he? What's your story, buddy? He spent the last few years bouncing between pharma companies around the world. A mercenary. Whose side are you on, Wakefield? Emily, I thought you said that you did your due diligence. Slack on your part. Seriously? Our access to Kensington Corporation is only second to yours, Natalie. That's ridiculous. I'd never. Even Parker showed up unannounced. Don't drag me into this. Oh, come on. Everyone knows you work for anyone who pays your quote. All I know is that if they get in, the nanocells are gone forever. Natalie, please. Look, we aren't traitors. Help us. Stall them. Do something. Amelia. Regardless of what we think of each other right now, you're one of my closest friends. Parker? So we're trusting these guys now? Yes, we are. Can the void jam electronics? Negative. Could you reinitialize the vacuum? Two of them aren't wearing helmets. I can't. They've locked us out. Reese could. His computer down there is hardwired into the system. All right. Okay, talk me through it as fast as you can. Help, Amy! Help! Help! What's going on, Claire? Something wrong. My heart. <laughs> Are you going to wear a mask? No. I trust you. Turn the vacuum back on? He did. Not so smug now, are you? We're not out of the woods yet. All right, they're still unlocking the door. One down, two to go. Come on.
call Natalie Kensington. I'm okay. Answer call. Oh, thank God. We saw the lab door didn't open. Good work, Wakefield. Appreciate the guidance, Parker. Thanks for the lead, Natalie. There's still an armed intruder out there. Parker, what else do you have for us? I could go for Natty's internet. Unplug the lab, plug it back in. That would kill lockdown mode and the vacuum for 60 seconds. You guys can then escape before everything initializes. Emily has a security team poised to handle the last intruder. No, that's a shit plan. He's standing right outside the door. Fucking security team of sprinters wouldn't make it down before he wastes us. He's right, Parker. It's a calculated risk worth taking. Okay, well, when could you do this? Whenever you're... Can you get Claire's blood? What the fuck, Natalie? Yes, I know it will kill her, but she's gonna die anyway. She'd be sacrificing herself to save millions. Think, Amy. We can't start over again. This has been our lives for the past four years. We're not the only country trying for nanocells. I'm not a murderer. You're a monster, Kensington. Just take the blood, Amy. Time is running out. Deal or no deal? End call. Trapped in a corner here, Emmy. There has to be another way that doesn't involve killing Claire. There isn't. We're trapped. Yeah, by Natalie. The lab's in lockdown mode because she ordered it. There's no other chemical threat outside of Claire's bioprotector. Yeah, there is. Actually. How? I should have brushed up on my needle handling. Look, this is a Mexican standoff we're going to lose. It won't be long until I'm like Claire, and eventually the oxygen will run out, so Parker's crazy plan of opening that door is our only hope. You've changed your tune. Maybe Natalie will rescue us. Yeah, you want to bet? All the evidence of her actions in Kindar is down here. The nanocells are our only leverage. Take her blood, however much you need. Claire, please give me your arm. I thought you were different. Claire, your arm. Tell me honestly, can you save me? There's almost no chance of it. Your internal physiology is completely changed and I can't predict what's gonna happen. You're weak. Look, I don't even know if I'm gonna survive this. But if I do, I promise you that... Stop. I've got enough. What the fuck are you talking about? Don't stick it in. <laughs> That's what she said. Reese. <laughs> Just close the bioprotector. Claire can live to fight another day. It's about the time I contributed an escape plan. What? While Parker was talking me through the vacuum reset, I realised that a full lab reset wouldn't be much different. We don't need those pricks upstairs. But if you reset the lab, they'll be alerted. That's where things get creative. I hacked into the lab security camera and recorded the last three minutes of you preparing to extract Claire's blood. I can output that three minutes of footage onto their security feed. While you escape, they'll think you're following orders. How did you come up with this? Sorry to move in. <laughs> Okay, but what about our last remaining obstacle outside? 
And why are you speaking in the second person? I'm going to take him out. I'm infected. As soon as I step into the void, that heat flash will trigger. Maurice, you've lost it. If I die in here, lockdown mode ends and he gets in. If I die out there, so does he and you, you have a chance. I've been the weak link. It's time to become an asset. Just take Claire, run, and save her. This is madness. There has to be a way for all of us to survive. Ever the optimist. That that's what you always loved about her. No, 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 look, I chose this, okay? And that's how you make a life. Every single choice along the way counts. I fucking hate you. You know, I went back to that beach in Kindle to face it. and Dima. And I think maybe if I had lost my shit, then we could have saved one of them. Yeah. Maybe. I'm sorry for leaving you. This is with me, Reese. At this stage, you have a far better chance of surviving than I do. Come on. You have all of the evidence against Kensington. Make sure the world sees it. No, Claire, I'll do it. Drop it. The bioprotector will stop the lab detecting your infection. And you two can escape. Come on. I promise we'll expose Natalie and we'll share your story with the world. Thank you. You get me the fuck out of this thing. Did you do that, Parker? No. I'm sitting here. Hey, Claire. Thank you. Let's do this. Alpha 
Server system reset complete. Nailed it, Claire. All looks good to me. Yeah. She's going to get the nano cells. Well done, Amy. I wouldn't have. What was that? Nothing. Three minutes. No, Amy, fuck that. Get a machine gun. Mm-hmm. We have to change out of our lab suits. They'll draw too much attention. How bad is it? Can you see the bone? I'm gonna go to the disabled toilet and grab the fold-up wheelchair, okay? Change quick. Yes, ma'am. Bluffing about the security team. Okay, there's an exit out of the back of the building. It'll be way less guarded. All right, so what are we waiting for? Nally's office is down there. Let's just get the fuck out of here. Yeah, let's. Finish what Claire started. Well, my six, here we come. Stop right there, Amy Tennant! Oh. Well, I guess three minutes wasn't long enough. We know Wakefield has nanocells in his system. Hand them over and this can end without bloodshed. Well, that's clearly bullshit. Just do it, Amy. Natalie's covering up the murder of innocent men, women, and children. Emily, you know this is wrong. I knew about everything. The nanosol duplicates, the testing in Kinder. I oversaw it all while you're busy fiddling with your test tubes. Now hand him over. You're trapped. Amy, use me. You always said I could sell ice to the Eskimos. Dude, you can't say that. Hey, hey, look, look, look. Look, I'm, I'm a pretty selfish person. But the woman behind me with the Uzi isn't, so just... Don't punish her for that. Where are you going with this, Reese? <laughs> you can have me, Kensington. Just let me go. No. Just trust me for once. No, no, no deal. I can't just let Amy walk out of here. Just do it, Amy. It's okay, just do it. Do it. Do it. Security lab alpha now! Fuck you, Kensington! I need tenant! I had eigentlich gedacht, he rolled here on the zu or so.
war das jetzt nicht gedacht. Natalie Kensington, founder of the Kensington Corporation, was today arrested by MI6 on suspicion of crimes against humanity. This follows the discovery of footage linking her to illegal chemical testing on humans in Kandar, which resulted in the deaths of hundreds. The Kandarian Embassy have denied any involvement. Ja, das Spiel ist jetzt zu Ende und ich wollte noch ein ganz kurzes Fazit halten. Also mir persönlich hat es wirklich sehr, sehr gefallen. Ich bin eigentlich am Anfang davon ausgegangen, dass es sich um eine Virenbedrohung handelt und nicht um eine ja, Nanobots-Bedrohung sozusagen. Beziehungsweise es ist ja eine Mischung aus Nanobots-Bedrohung und ähm, ja, Action, dass halt jemand die Technologie von jemandem stehlen will und so weiter. Ich habe gelesen, dass wohl sehr bekannte Schauspieler da drin sind. Mir kam zumindest auch die Frau sehr bekannt vor. Ähm, unter anderem Katie Dickey, die schon bei Game of Thrones mitgespielt hat. Und ähm, das Spiel ist ja auch 90 Minuten oder Schrägstrich der Film. Was ich auch sehr positiv finde, also schon Spielfilmlänge sozusagen dieses Spiel. Und es hat, ich glaube, acht verschiedene Enden die man insgesamt erspielen kann. Und es gibt sehr, sehr viele Entscheidungen, die man treffen kann. Und natürlich auch dementsprechend viele Dinge, die man freischalten kann. Ich persönlich finde es sehr gelungen. Ähm, 12 Euro, ja, ob sich der Preis rechtfertigt oder nicht, ähm, sei jetzt mal dahingestellt. Wenn ihr denkt, dass das zu viel ist und ähm, ja für einen Film in Anführungszeichen quasi zu viel Geld wäre, dann holt euch das Ganze doch einfach im 50%-Angebot beispielsweise und ich sage ganz ehrlich, 6 Euro wären definitiv nicht zu viel für dieses Spiel. Es ist sehr, sehr gut auch, ich habe es ja einmal extra getestet, ich finde es sehr, sehr gut, dass wenn man nicht schnell genug die Entscheidung trifft, ähm, der PC trotzdem noch wartet und nicht einfach eigenständig irgendeine Entscheidung trifft. Das finde ich sehr, sehr gut gemacht. Das war zum Beispiel bei Medal of Honor nicht so, weil dann... Ja, ist man quasi in der Sparte gewesen, dass man sich gar nicht entschieden hat und hat dann wieder eine andere Spiel, ja, wieder ein anderes Spielergebnis im Endeffekt bekommen. Ja, wie gesagt, unterm Strich finde ich dieses Spiel sehr gelungen, auch wenn es halt mehr an einen Film erinnert als ein Spiel, aber es ist trotzdem, ich fand es sehr spannend aufgebaut, auch die Charaktere fand ich unheimlich gut. Okay, am Ende habe ich mich ein bisschen verzottelt. Ich wollte eigentlich den Typen mit dem Rollstuhl in die Leute rein äh, buxieren und dann dafür sorgen, dass die dann alle plötzlich entwaffnet sind und wir die niederschlagen können oder so. War vielleicht mehr der Wunschgedanke, der da gezählt hat. Letztendlich habe ich ihn dann ja aus Versehen geopfert. Das war also nicht meine Absicht, muss ich dazu sagen. Aber ähm, ja, es ist trotzdem irgendwo noch ein gutes Ende gewesen, weil ähm, das MI6 ja die Daten bekommen hat und dementsprechend da diese blöde Tussi ähm, von der Company gefasst worden ist und ja, halt verurteilt wird. Das fand ich dann zumindest schon mal positiv. Ich denke, ich werde es auch noch mal mit mehreren Varianten durchspielen, aber ich glaube nicht, dass ich das dann noch mal aufnehmen werde. Ich bedanke mich auf jeden Fall fürs Zuschauen. Ich hoffe, euch hat das Ganze genauso viel Spaß gemacht wie mir. Und ja, freue mich natürlich über einen Daumen nach oben, wenn euch äh, das Spiel Schrägstrich der Film gefallen hat und hoffe, wir sehen uns dann im nächsten Video wieder. Lasst äh, einfach den Abspann noch ein bisschen durchlaufen. Ganz am Ende kommt jetzt noch die Übersicht, was ich erreicht habe äh, von, den, von der St Statistik her. Und wenn ihr Lust habt, das mal anzugucken, könnt ihr das natürlich gleich machen. Ich hoffe, wir sehen uns im nächsten Video. Bis dann. Ciao.